Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Steve with LRM Leasing. Today we're going to talk about some DOT specifications and how to take proper measurements of tires, which apparently I've been getting phone calls lately and I'm getting pictures where they are incorrectly putting the tread depth gauge on a tire. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and a few things that I've heard come through the phone. So we're going to start from the top, which is the best part. First things first, lights. That's one of them. So lights on a truck, if it's mounted to the truck, it must work. If you decide that you want your truck to look very pretty with a lot of lights, they all have to be functioning. The lights that you don't want on your truck, you can remove them as long as they are manufactured on the truck, they have to stay put. So if you have five marker lights on the top and a headlight, turn signal, tail lights, you can't remove those, those have to stay. Now, if you add a line of chicken lights like this guy right here that I have, on this, right behind me on this Freightliner. All those lights, a person install that just to make the truck look pretty. There's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. You just gotta make sure that all the lights are working. That's it. It's very simple. Now, also, the other question I have would be fog lights. Now, fog lights are on some of the vehicles, not all. If you have a fog light out and you just can't get it, I highly suggest remove them because you don't have to have them and then you can block it up, then it's just a regular bumper. And when you do decide to get the part and get it fixed right, remove the area and then put the lights back in. Very simple for the light issue. Now, the next one is oil leaks, all right? So the biggest one is oil can't hit the ground. That's gonna just shut you guys down. Wheel seals, anything off the motor, transmission and differential. Now, if it's a leak that is you know, starting to weep, they give you a little bit of grace period, but I highly suggest that you make the repairs so you don't get hit with a DOT violation from a police officer. Drive lines, you know, you gotta do the up and down, any movement in that direction. It's very little, if any at all. Just make sure that there's not a lot of play. Make sure you guys are greasing those U-joints, especially if they are greasable ones. And then the next thing is, I wanna talk about the tires because apparently I'm getting a lot of those and I've gotten pictures of where they are putting these incorrectly. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna, I have a tire here. I'm gonna show you where we should put it. And just so you guys know, on a tire, it has to be in a major groove area, not where water separates or right in the middle where it's, you know, for uh, the wear bar. So not there, in a major groove area. On the drives, just remember, you gotta have a minimum of 230 seconds, and then on the steers, 430 seconds. What I wanna do right now is let's go to a tire. Let's show you where we should put it and where we should not and we'll talk about that right away. All right guys, so right here, I'm next to a Freightliner Cascadia. Again, it does not matter what truck you drive, tires are all the same. So what we're gonna do today is, I'm gonna take my tire tread depth tool, which you guys can find in Amazon. They're not that expensive. They can range from a dollar to four dollars. So what we're gonna talk about today is where we're gonna properly put it in a major groove area. Green means good, yellow means you're warning, and red means you're out. Here at this tire, we have a major groove area, right here on the side, in the middle, and then on the side again. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put it in a major groove area. I'm gonna push down on it. This tire here, as you can see, it is at 1830 seconds. So and what, like I said before, the minimum on the back is 230 seconds. So now, when you do inspect the tire, you know, to dig the tread depth reading, you do it in a major groove area, but you're also gonna look for the lowest spot because that's where the DOT is gonna go. They're not gonna go, oh, big amount of tread here, we're gonna take a measurement. No, no, no. He's gonna look around your whole entire tire and then find the lowest spot in that major groove area and then put it and that's where he's gonna get his reading. So just keep that in mind when you do that. Now, where you shouldn't be doing is that there's like a little wear here, right, wear bar. When you put it in here, so if you guys remember, I said 1830 seconds. So if I put it in the place that you should not put it, I am reading 1130 seconds. That's a big difference, guys. That's literally 730 second difference. So just keep in mind, that is the incorrect place to put it. That is not a major groove area. And then that you wanna make sure that you put the tool in a major groove area, but look for the, the lowest spot on the tire because that's where your DOT officer, that's where he's going. All right guys, so that was some of the DOT stuff that we went over. And I just wanna put it out there that the stuff that I'm talking about for DOT is are the things that I keep getting on the phone calls and messages. I know I didn't hit every topic on the DOT, but if you ever have any questions or concerns, of a DOT question that doesn't seem right to you, 
guys, leave me a message. So, and I'll love to answer it for it. And I'll look at my big green book and get you an answer on a DOT violation. If you have anything seriously about DOT, and again, I just want to emphasize, I didn't touch all of the DOT. It will be a very lengthy video. Doesn't mean it can't be coming, but I just want to hit all the hot topics of all the information that I've been getting lately. If you like what you saw today, please pound that like button. If you guys have any questions or concerns or any DOT questions, guys, leave a comment at the bottom. And if you want more content coming your way, you guys got to subscribe. I'm here to save you guys some money. All right, see you guys around.